Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Sharon's story careened toward a climax this week when the young and restless heroine wound up in Daniel's apartment with a bottle of poison and an infuriated Cameron, pushing her ever closer to the point of no return. And just when she'd fought against her worst impulses and won, came the twist that sent hearts plummeting into the stomachs of viewers everywhere. Sharon, about to make her escape unnoticed, came face to face with Heather. Calling this a disaster waiting to happen is an understatement, and the outcome will be truly shocking. Heather and Sharon were already on the outs after Faith and Lucy's accident. So much so that Daniel's live in love wanted to up sticks and start over fresh somewhere far away from Geno City. This after a series of run-ins with a snappish and sometimes scary Sharon all over town. As young and restless viewers are well aware, Sharon's meds are messing with her head to the extent that her dead ex-stalker has taken up residence there, coaxing her to do the unthinkable. Cameron proved to be persuasive enough that she did a break and enter, and actually put poison into Daniel's whiskey bottle in an attempt to take his life. Cam promised that this would lead to all manner of rainbows and sunshine, not to mention a reunion with her ex-husband Nick. But once the deed was done, Sharon seemed to come to what was left of her senses. A happy family photo stopped her in her tracks and laid on the guilt, making it clear to her what she was about to become responsible for doing. Sharon did the right thing and poured out the poisoned whiskey, but with Cameron still riding her relentlessly, managed to knock over a tray of glassware and smash it all over the floor. This caused a downright dangerous delay. Sharon shoveled up the shards and was making her way out the door when she ran smack dab into Heather, who was coming home from her job interview. Both women recoiled in shock, as did viewers who began bracing themselves for what's coming next. With Sharon in some kind of psychosis related to her meds, she's not likely to sit down with Heather, explain that she was trying to kill Daniel, but thought the better of it, and beg for forgiveness. No, there's going to be a confrontation. Heather's had it up to here with Sharon already, so coming home to find her lurking in her apartment is bound to set off some fireworks. We expect the two to have it out and get physical. We already know things will take a dangerous turn, which doesn't bode well for the outcome. It's all but a foregone conclusion that something bad will happen to Heather. The only question, really, is whether she'll end up dead or in a handy-dandy soap opera coma, from which she'll eventually emerge with amnesia. Picture it. Heather and Sharon argue, get into tussle, and the attorney falls and bumps her head. She either dies or cannot be revived. Sharon takes out the empty whiskey bottle and puts it beside Heather on the ground. She scatters the glassed shards around her body to make it look as though she had an accident while intoxicated, and then slips out. Daniel, who had just picked up Lucy from the club, makes his way home with his daughter, and the two walk in on the absolutely shocking scene. Sharon, of course, will be long gone, but far deeper down a mental hole than ever before knowing what she's done. Will she run? Will she confess? You'll have to tune into Young and Restless to find out.